So rumors have been spreading around that Quantic Dream, the developer that have made a couple, a couple pretty well-known games, and then they're not the biggest studio, but I'll go into that a little later. Rumors have spread that they are making a brand new Star Wars game that could be coming to the Star Wars universe in the next couple of years. So here in this video, I'm going to break down everything we know about this rumor and if it could be real or if it's just an insider who has leaked something that is not true. Because we've gotten a lot of leaks that are true, like the KOTOR remake and the Mandalorian game, which is probably true. And then we've gotten a couple leaks that were not true. Like, uh, I don't even I don't even know offhand, but there have been, like, Darth Jar Jar. Like, everybody said Darth Jar Jar is going to be real, and then we never got Darth Jar Jar yet. So here, like I said, I'm going to break down everything we know about this thing and if it's true or not. So if you haven't already, then I guess like and subscribe so you know when we get any more news about this game. And let's get right to this video. So rumors have been spreading around just today, about six hours ago, I'd say. It has, been an, it has been rumored that we are getting a new Star Wars game by Quantic Dream. Now, I've never heard of Quantic Dream before, but I say that for, like, any other Star Wars, like, uh, any other Star Wars dude. Like, I've never even heard of Aspire or uh, Zynga before they announced that they were making Star Wars games. So, this is not, uh, I guess they've made some very well-known Star Wars games, but I've never, uh, not Star Wars games, sorry, games, but I've never really heard of them. So apparently, so re, so they have been they've worked on games, but the games that they've worked on were completely original games, not from IPs. And apparently, they like to take games and like to come up them from original. So one of the reasons why this leak could not be true is because they like to come up with their own original games, like I just said. So it might they they wouldn't take like an IP like Star Wars, so that's already a well known franchise. So if they're gonna take that and make their own game, that kind of goes against the rules of the main of the main um, uh, developer of this game, the main president of this game. But another reason why this leak could be true is that apparently uh, apparently the studio has had some, like, they've worked, uh, they had a bunch of reputation, they were a pretty well-known studio, they, they were a very good studio, and then apparently while working on one of their games, they made some of their employees work overtime and stuff like that. Like, they weren't, they were just making them work overtime and I guess not paying them because they were trying to rush to make their new game. So apparently they got some very bad reputation, even though that game was a pretty good game, I'm pretty sure, uh, as far as I've heard. They lost most of their reputation. So one of the reasons why this could be true is because uh, they, they could be trying to get their reputation back. So Disney's the perfect opportunity. Like if you think of any if you think of any movie uh, making, then the first thing that's probably going to come to mind is Disney. So they, they since Disney's such a big thing, they think that if they have a successful game with Disney, they could earn their reputation back by working with Disney. But then the downside of this is like we're going ups and downs is that Disney would probably not want to work with a studio that has some bad reputation because they made their employees work overtime for this. So because, you know, the mouse is very careful on who he's working with. If he works with somebody that has bad reputation, then they could get a bad, Disney could get a bad reputation. The mouse could be going down. His money's going down. The parks are, the parks were closed all year. The mouse's money is going down. So this could benefit them. Or, well, it's mostly going to try, it's mostly going to benefit Quantic Dream if Disney decides to actually go with this deal to make a Star Wars game. So now I'm going to go into where this leak originated. So Bombastic made a video, and I'm getting all this information from Bombastic's video, so you gotta go check out that video, because that's where I definitely got more information. And I'm really just touching on the subject, so Bombastic's video goes way more in-depth, so I'll leave a link in the description and maybe a card in the top right corner if I feel like it. So this leak was originally leaked by one of the people working on the studio, I'm pretty sure, and somebody else working outside the studio. And uh, so apparently they 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 this person who leaked it is a very well known leaker and he's very like he he's most of the time right about his leaks so that that is another reason why this leak could be true so like, we're going downs and ups so reason why this leak could be true is that the person who gave us this leak is a very like is a very uh per, is a person that you can trust when it comes to leaks so that means that if that means that he probably got this leak from a proper source and he probably has like a source or something where he's getting this information from so we could probably trust that this information is probably true or maybe he got tricked by his source 
so ups and downs we so we know that it could be true because they want to get their reputation back so why not go to disney and why not go to star wars because it's one of the biggest franchises of all time but then again we don't know it we don't know like this studio we've never even heard of this before this has never been talked about before and disney's very careful on who they're working with so let me just give you an idea on what this type of games could be so apparently uh, Quantum Dream it makes more of the games that are kind of like slow paced. They're still action adventure games, but apparently I'm getting all this information from Obastic. They have slow paced games that kind of work more on the puzzle aspect of stuff and are kind of more like a mystery kind of type of game. So this could be a very interesting take for Star Wars, like Bombastic has said. So this would be interesting to see how this will work in the Star Wars universe. Maybe we get a like a kind of like a, a detective Star Wars or something. Like we've never gotten in really that for the Star Wars universe, so it could be very interesting taste for Star Wars. So now that we're kind of going on the ups and downs, uh, one more thing to really think about is the release date of this game. So if we're going to go into release date based on this game, let's just take an idea and think backwards. Now that EA's executive deal is going to be finishing up, I believe it's this year, because that's why uh, Zynga got the thumbs up to make Star Wars Hunter. So I think it ended this year, and that's why Zynga was going to release Star Wars Hunters this year. So, because their executively deal has ended, that means that now, because, so when EA, when EA had the executively deal, their entire company, so say their entire company, they can make two Star Wars games a year. So that's, that's a pretty good number just for EA. But now that we have other studios like Ubisoft, who's making their open world Star Wars game, we have Zynga with Star Wars Hunters, we have Aspire with, uh, what's it called, I don't even know, KOTOR Remake. Yeah, the KOTOR Remake. And then we have the rumored Mandalorian game. So with all that, if EA releases two Star Wars games a year, and then Ubisoft releases one game a year, and then uh, Quantum Dream releases one day a year, that's going to be way more Star Wars games than, we, than we've gotten in the past years. And then it's also confirmed that uh, um, EA is planning on doubling down on their Star Wars games. So this definitely means that the Star Wars universe is going to be more crowded for gaming, and that could be a good thing and a bad thing. So number one, it could be a good thing because you know, more games. Everybody loves more games. And also the reason why it could be a good game. So say we get, um, so say when we get Star Wars Hunters, it's the worst game that we've ever seen. It's basically the Jar Jar Binks of Star Wars games. Everybody hates it. And then we get Jedi Fallen Order 2. And it's a huge success. It's better than the original. It sells 80 million copies. I don't know. I'm just throwing out numbers. So now that we have more, now that we have more of a variety of games, that means if one game is terrible, then it's bound to be that another game is really good. So that's basically it's pretty positive now that we're getting more Star Wars games from more studios, and it seems that every day we are getting more studios being rumored to make a Star Wars game, and hopefully most of these studios are right about the Star Wars games being released. Like I have no idea what the Star Wars game could even be that they're releasing, but still, it's just better to know that we at least have another option of a Star Wars game and we could see in the future how the Star Wars game could look. So this is everything that we pretty much know for now about the new Star Wars game that Quantic, uh, Quantic Dream could or could not be releasing in probably the next couple of years. So like 2023, 2024, I'd say. If you enjoyed this video, I guess like and subscribe because, you know, I do try to do the latest news on Star Wars gaming, basically. And I've gotten all of this information from last week's video on this exact topic. So go check out his video on this topic because he definitely helped me a lot with most of this information for this video. So, bye. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. So be it, Jedi. Ah!